Well hello ladies and gentlemen, do you want to change your YouTube name to another font? Well, you kind of can do that and I'm going to show you how. So, basically what you do, it depends a little bit if you have a channel or if you have several channels. I have a like brand account channel, like many people have, who are several, who have like several accounts and channels. Uh, and some people may, however, only got the one. So if you want to change your name there, you need to visit your Google account to change the name onto this uh, like username. And then you have a first and last name, and those will be put together, and you'll basically need to you know, divide all the characters you want in the first and last name to kind of get your name. For most people, however, it's more relevant to visit the channel. So we should now go to our channel. On our channel, we can now go to our profile picture. Click on your profile picture. Click edit. Then we just cross this down and here we have our actual name. This is the name you see I clicked a little pen here and here we can change the name of the YouTube channel because you know this is a proper channel not really a user account so in the channel case we'll need to change it here right so we can change this to basically any Unicode characters here you can see the link in the description as well we have a list of Unicode characters so it's basically most characters used in language in most languages and you know you can also use of course Chinese, Korean, Japanese. Uh, some users that don't have that language packs installed may not find it. But you can also use this like fancy like Greek symbols uh, as well. So basically all of these are fine. However it's a little bit complex to put this together. So what we need to do is we'll go to FS symbol generators. So here we have some different generators you can use. Like for example, we have this uh, small caps generator. Uh, so we have like small capital letters, pretty handy. We also have this pretty funny, Rossify. <laughs> we can have this as a uh, username. I can paste that in. Um, we can also go here to the font generator tab, link in description, and I just write in what I want and I get some suggestions. And now here you can see these several line ones, of course they won't work, you can only use a single liner one. And some of these will work, some of these won't work. It's a little um, hit or miss, it's not obvious which are um, Unicode characters or not so my recommendation is to just try it out but some of these really weird ones like this one and some of these kind of normal one like just bold italics they won't work they have to be different Unicode characters so we can also go to this site link in the description mess letters right in here so here you can see like this no won't work if it won't like allow you to change the name uh, to the one you chose, it will tell you if the character is like not valid. We can test this one for example. You can go here, select about me and select OK. Right. So we changed the name and you can see nothing happened. Yeah, well so this one didn't work because it's actually not a other like characters this is just a font so we need to select something that's actually different character so so we go back to this page here we can just scroll down a little bit and you can see obviously this these are upside down so if we go in here put in the name and select OK let's change our name here we got it because these are actually different characters so we can have this upside down name like this uh, it will take a little while before this actually shows up on your YouTube channel. Like, it uh, takes a little while before the changes goes to all your different, you know, places. 
and you know I'm changing around my name like crazy and if you do this um, you might actually reach a limit on how many times you can change your name in a given time so be a little bit careful about that just try the ones you really want to try and just try them a few times you know because that's yeah you don't want to end up with a name you don't really want so like if, if we scroll down here it's pretty obvious which are different characters like these ones these box ones are like characters this is like uh, Chinese characters so that will work and uh, these double ones won't work um, we also have some shortcuts to special tools like this Rossify will work perfectly small caps generator should work fine too anyways uh, I want these blocked letters, so I copied them. So we go in here, I'm gonna select them there, and we're gonna change the name. And here we can see, you must enter a name, and it won't accept these characters. So there is a limit on what, uh, what uh, like characters you can actually use. So uh, these uh, bubble letters and the boxed ones, unfortunately, they won't work. Here we can see one though, this one, you can see these are actually different characters. This is a K, this is a, some different symbols, kind of changes a little bit. This one will work perfectly, this one will work as well. This one should definitely work. Um, I believe this one will work too. So like you can kind of recognize which are different characters, but sometimes it can be a little bit hard. Like this is Chinese and Japanese, it should work perfectly. Right. So let's see here, what am I going to choose for my channel here? You can of course like scroll down forever here and uh, you'll eventually find something that should appeal to you. We're going to go back to this one font generator because I want to show you the small caps generator. I think it's pretty cool. Like that, here we have small caps. We can copy that. Um, we'll click there to copy to. You can also see some other suggestions, you know, the upside down worked fine, but you know, many of these are just fonts and not actually Unicode. So we go back here and we select this one. Change name. Here we go. Now I have a small font name, so we can go back to the channel. There we go. The channel name is like officially changed. So that's basically how to do it. You'll just need to select characters in another type of Unicode characters. Um, not another like font, it has to be a Unicode character. And these like small capital letters, they're actually used in like other applications. You know, we can even Google this one and you can see a small caps uh, of this one. And it's, you know, used in some different uh, applications uh, like math and whatever, I'm not totally sure exactly which one the small capital K is used for, but you know, that's basically how it goes. So um, try that out and hopefully you'll get some interesting name. Do however be warned that if you change your name to different characters, it can be harder to find your name by search uh, because if you like use, um, if you like use these upside down ones, like, you know, we can even search. What is this even? This is uppercase k uh, something, which is uh, from, from a, oh, International Phonetic Alphabet. See there, interesting. So that's what, what this symbol is. So if you have like an upside down name, it <laughs> might be real real difficult to find your name by search if you don't kind of, you know, select the right one. As well as with the, you know, Russify one, um, it will probably guess that this type, this part of the name is kind of in Russian. And if you don't, you know, have a Russian keyboard, it might be hard to <laughs> write in how to find your channel. Well, well, well. That's basically how to do it and I, I hope it helped you and if it did please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and share this to your friends so you can have real interesting names going on. Anyways, this is your host, Jim Desen, signing out.